After you create your Canva account, you're gonna come to a dashboard that looks like this. To create your account, you can do it for free and you can also use the link in your bio to get the free 30-day trial of the Pro Plan. So let's create our first design with Canva. Canva gives you a bunch of options. You can create documents, thumbnails, presentations, mobile videos and much more. Today I want to create a YouTube thumbnail. So first let's go to the search bar and let's type thumbnail and I'm gonna select YouTube thumbnail. It will show us a bunch of templates that we can work with. Some of them has this little crown, it means that they are exclusive for the pro plan, but there are some that you can also select for the free plan. I'm just gonna select this one. And let's click on customize this template. It will open up this editor. And first, I wanna change a little bit this template. I wanna change this bottom and I wanna change the background. So I'm gonna delete the image in the background and I want a plain colors. So on the top, I'm gonna put a background color. I'm gonna select this blue. And now I wanna edit the text. You can go to the left and click on text and it will show you a bunch of pre-made text that you can use. Or on the top bar, you can change the font, the size, the color, you can bold it, change the alignment, put some effects or and much more. Now I wanna change the color. So I'm gonna click on color and I wanna change this one too. And now I wanna put a new YouTube logo. So let's go to elements and on the search bar, let's type YouTube logo and, and it will show us a bunch of graphics. Some of them are exclusive for the pro plan, but there are a lot available for the free plan too. I'm gonna select this one. Here you can change the size and on the top bar, you can also edit the image, flip it, change the colors, change the alignment, the position, the transparency and much more. Here you can also add some images, change the image that is there. You can draw, you can add more elements and much more. But now let's create a YouTube thumbnail from scratch. So let's go back to the initial dashboard and let's click on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. It will open up this blank design. So first it will show us on the left templates and we can use or we can just change the background color so I'm gonna change the color on the top and now I want to add a picture so I'm gonna click on upload in left so I'm gonna upload my picture so there are two ways of doing this once that my picture is uploaded I can go to edit image so if you have the pro plan you're gonna have these features available and you can just remove the background if not I'm gonna use all the free features first so let's go to elements in the left and on frames, let's click on the circle one. We can change the size of the frame and the size of the picture. And then I wanna drag the picture for it to be inside of the circle. And then we can change the size and the position. Now let's go to shapes and let's find the circle shape. It will give us this circle. On the top bar, we're gonna find the shape settings and I wanna change the color. I want it white and I want this shape to be like a frame of my picture so I'm gonna go to position on the top bar and I'm gonna click to back so it moves the circle to the back here you can also align the frame and the picture so I want them to be perfectly aligned now I'm gonna group both of them so when I move them I'll move them together so to do this you select the circle and the picture both of them and you then are gonna click on group and now you can move them together. I'm going to put it to the right. Now I want to add a picture to the background. I'm going to go to elements and on the search bar, I'm going to type YouTube. And in photos, you can select a picture that you like. I'm going to select this one. Now let's change the size and I'm going to change the transparency. So on the top bar, let's click on the transparency setting. Now I wanna add some text. So on the left, let's click on text and I wanna click on heading. Here we can move it. And on the top bar, we can change all the text settings. I'm gonna change the size and I wanna change the font. Now let's change the color. Let's select our text and change the color. Now I wanna add some things to this text. So let's click on it. And on the top bar, let's click on effects and it will open up different styles, shapes, colors, directions. We can edit the text. I want this style and let's change the settings. And on elements, I'm gonna look for a Canva logo. So let's search on the search bar, a Canva logo. And here's one. Let's change the size and let's put it 
here and here it is our thumbnail now I'm gonna add a page I'm gonna design a new thumbnail with the pro features first let's upload a photo just as before and to edit this photo I'm gonna go to the top left corner and click on edit image and I'm gonna remove the background if you want it to be a little bit more precise, you can also edit the background removal. If something, if you want to erase something that it's there, you can click on the background remover again and click on erase and you can erase little details or restore them. So let's go back. Here you can also add effects, filters, text, magic edits and much more. I want to add a background to my image. So on effects, I'm going to click on shadows and I'm going to click on glow. Let's change the settings of the shadow. I'm gonna put more intensity. I'm gonna change the blur amount and the size. And let's change the color, I want it white. And here it is, now I have a frame. I'm gonna move it and now I'm gonna add an element. I want an image in the background just as before. So I'm gonna select the image that I used before and I'm gonna change the transparency again. And now let's add the text and the Canva logo. And now that's it, we have a YouTube thumbnail for a Canva tutorial. To save it, let's go to the top right corner and click on share. And then let's click on download. Here it will give you a different file types. PNG and JPG are the most common. I'm gonna keep it on PNG. And you can also select what pages you wanna download. I wanna download both of them. And let's click on download. And that's it, that's how we have our YouTube thumbnail. If you want to see how another design tool works, you can check out our Adobe Express tutorial for beginners right here.